This is a Porsche 911 Turbo. It is a everyday car that that is nice to drive and silver. And as you see, I'm not driving very fast, so your everyday money pocket can buy one. You would imagine. No. Yes, it is an everyday car. So it's normal, you would expect, apart from the belly lights. Um, again, no. This thing isn't normal. Forget the word normal in a 911 Turbo. Because this engine is producing 480 brake horsepower. And I think about a million billion torques. The engine will take you from 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and onto a top speed of 200 miles an hour. The word 911 even better than it already was, I think. And this 911 is even pretty. I mean, most 911s are just Volkswagen Beetles with the, with the engine in the wrong place and are running through. They no. I mean, look. Driving along a sporty with lots of grip, thanks to that excellent four-wheel drive system. So, a supercar you can use every day. You see, it's in quite in the same league as the Nissan GTR. Both four wheel drive, both have decent boots. This has been, uh, even with the engine in the back, has in the front a good boot. I mean, of course, because of the engine is at the back. It isn't as delicate to drive as a GTR, not as good. But you know, fine. You know, it makes even more sense to say, I've got a Porsche, instead of I say, I've got a Nissan. Until you say, I've got a Nissan GTR, then every eye is pointed at you. Then the GTR is faster around the Nürburgring, but this is twice as expensive as the GTR. It's delicate, this thing. And normally I love Ferrari because they have engines in the middle. Flamboyant looks, but I like this as well. I mean, any time for the four-wheel drive to get back on straight again. This is Chicago Airfield and that's where this belongs, on an airfield. But then this is an airfield car that you can use every day. And that is something exclusive. notice that it has the engine in the back like the Volkswagen Beetle. You hardly know that it is that you're actually not very popular in the one of these things. You hardly notice that the rear leg, leg room in the car is rubbish. You just notice that you've got a 480 horsepower engine and you're going like hell! this car. And there are we. It is perfect. 
And that is this car's biggest problem. It is ice cold. I mean, it isn't 911, just another one. It isn't warm, it isn't... I mean, it is just like a very big book. I mean, you don't love it. Let me put it this way. You have a very realistic video game. It's very nice, very nice. But you can't have a log because every time you crash once, you're gonna break down. Or you're gonna suck it or anybody pass by you. If you have a less realistic video game, you don't have all that stuff that's falling off and not even everybody is going past, but it is a lot more fun. That's what this is. It's a perfect video game. But then a perfect car. It just never ever let you make a slide. And even so this is a pretty 911. You could say if a lot of it's better. And in a properly dream car, a dream super car, you are stuck seven days a week in the traffic. But there's gonna be that one moment that you know what you want, that you're glad that you bought it, and that is never gonna come in this car. Because the reason you bought this isn't because it's special, it is because you need such a thing. And I, when I see a 911, I think, oh, that's a 911. If I see a Ferrari, I say, wow, a Ferrari. I think sometimes even that 911s are only built with one purpose, to make money. Ferrari will be building their cars in the same way, but they are, the Ferraris aren't cool, they are warm, they are nice. This, well, it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant, but to be honest, when I, if I would buy a supercar, it would be a Ferrari, not this, but then this is brilliant.